When I came to Beaufort, South Carolina, saw this landscape. I came to the landscape I was born to write about. It spoke to me viscerally. It spoke to me immediately. I could not personally believe how beautiful, how exquisitely lovely this place was. The first spring, I saw gardens that seemed like they were planted by God to me. I look out on the great salt marshes, the most marvelous marshes that exist in the world, the largest I've ever seen. I found out I liked a land that had great oak trees. I liked a land that had ruins and beautiful houses and great architecture. I found that I love rivers and creeks and that I could go back there in the lagoon behind my house and I could feed us all by catching crabs. And just the, the pure, sheer richness and bounty of the low country seems to know no bounds to me. It simply is a ripe part of the earth. And once it gets into you, once it takes hold of you, you never feel the same anywhere else on earth. Everywhere I go, the landscape just jumps in. And there's nothing I can do about it, and I wouldn't do anything about it if I could. The South is multi-voiced, multi-tongued, and they all are trying to tell a story. They're all coming out singing. I can see why people love it here. I can see how this town could get into your bloodstream and you could never get this town out of it.